All right, section 13.1, we're going to be going over interest. Um, so this first problem wants us to find the simple interest. Okay, so simple interest, there's a formula for it. Okay, so simple interest is I equals P R T. Uh, principal, uh, R is the rate as a decimal, and T is time in years. Okay, so it has to be in years. Uh, principal. Out, starting them out. I may call it loan amount. Okay, so any one of these. All right, R is the rate as a decimal. So how much interest are you getting? All right, and then T is time in years. All right, so you got to be careful. If they give you some other unit of time, then you need to convert it to years. So, for example, if they give you months, you need to divide that by 12 because there's 12 months in a year. If they give you days, you divide by 365, 365 days in a year. They give you weeks. You need to divide weeks by 52 because there's 52 weeks in a year. So they need to give you years, but if they don't give you years, you need to convert to one of these. All right. Now, based on that, <clears throat> this first one wants to know simple interest. So it wants to know I. So it wants to know I, which is equal to P R T. And this table gives us everything we need. So P is 200. The rate is 8%. So as a decimal, that is 0 0.08. Uh, the way you remember how to do this, if you have 8%. So put these letters in order. D stands for decimal comes in the alphabet before P. So D comes first, then P. When you're going from percent to decimal, you need to move the decimal that way. If you're going decimal to percent, you go that way. So two times to the left, so that means the decimal is at the back, one, two, so you add a zero, so 0 0.08. And then two years. So you multiply all of this together, and that will give us our simple interest. So, pull up calculator, and we're just going to do 200 times 0 .08 times 2 years. So, the simple interest will be $32. All right, <clears throat> number 2. They give us the same setup and the numbers are given. So we want to find simple interest. So we're given 4,600. Uh, the interest rate is 10, so two times to the left, 0 0.1092. And then one fourth of a year. So you can just do one fourth or you can turn it to a decimal as 0.25. Okay, either way. Or you can just look at it as multiply times one and then divide by four. Okay, it does the same thing. So um, it may be easy for you to just multiply by the top number, divide by the bottom number. I will do it that way, but you can also convert it to a decimal and multiply. Uh, but you don't want to round it. Okay, so if you do turn it into a decimal, do not round it. All right, so we're going to do 4,600 times 0 0.1092. All right, and then I'm going to say, times 1 and then divided by 4 and that gives us a hundred and twenty five dollars and fifty eight cents says round to the nearest cent one twenty five point five eight 